we work very hard on the land and we're aware of the seasons. We were aware of the time uh, we had to, to plant everything. Then we were aware of the growth on the land. Before May time, the cattle used to be taken out to the shillings. That's when the crops were beginning to grow. But the women had to do the work. The women had to stay out on the moor with them for months. I did go to a cousin's shilling out on the Ness Moor and it was just wonderful. The cattle were then brought back in the autumn, but they were sleek and lovely. It certainly was a very healthy way of life. But all that has more or less gone down. We had a little spelling book and we had to know all the spellings. If we didn't know them, out came the bed. So it's a cruel way of learning the English language. And I discovered when we started talking in English about colour, they didn't have the same scope of words to describe the colours. And even when I went to art school, I thought to myself, they're talking a language here that I don't understand at all. The horses of Fog on the Fass, Sant Goromivsa, Fonaho, Homias, Hopuk, Ach, the Gas and the Smoor, San Exmissarte, San Guanivsa. I guess. We're little hillocks behind our house and we call them in Gaelic the grey hills but they're a soft kind of green but they weren't grey where and why did people use the language? They used the language for fishing, for the land, for uh, cooking, for anything they did. We no longer milk cows, go to the moor with the cows, go to the shillings. We don't discuss the way milk is processed from the warm milk to the thick banyachu, the thick milk. We don't do any of that. I can think of very positive things about what happens nowadays. You don't have to go to the well for drinking water. 
you don't have to take the two buckets and the spacer. You don't have to go to the shop every second day for pumping for the lamps. When I think of that was kept us going, that was our main chore to make sure that everything was in the house. Because without the paraffin you couldn't you couldn't uh, read, you couldn't do anything. You'd sit by the firelight and that was it. She is on the way at me no green. I guess a side grow follow on that chicken. I'm a you could go and wander wherever you wanted, wherever you wanted, and uh, you were very aware of the fact that some other people lived on this land and gave the names to places that you were really fond of.